<laughs> Welcome to Morning Wood Bird Sanctuary. Are we on? Should we try and see if we can? Uh, well, yeah. Get, just, just. I know case. it's not going to work. They saw us and well, they tomorrow saw their shadow and go away for six more weeks. <laughs> we've upgraded our technology on Morning Wood. Not today, but we both have iPads now. Not today. So I don't know if you can see them because I don't know if I can do a zoom. But we got a bunch of birds. If anybody knows what birds those are, please uh, write us, you know. Especially those who just can't stop writing us. Please uh, keep... Uh, uh, there's a seagull heading their way. Oh, let's see. A little what re they... recon mission. <laughs> What's it going to do? Let's see. So Put if I can set this up like just right, we won't see else. HD. <laughs> we can make it the Bobby show. Bobby's wood. Well, our neighbor who's lived here for 37 years says that every spring some... Whippoorwill uh, oh. uh, nests here, and uh, I'm gonna guess those are them because it's the first day we've seen them. Whippoorwillows. We're uh, three days into spring, is it? Whippoorwillows. What a nice no, name. We're a week into spring, right? Yeah, a week, week, ten mm -hmm. days. I don't know, but life was time. It is time for. It's time for spring for nesting and whatever they're doing over there. Life is a whippoorwillow that bent to your wind. Some of you will know that reference. Not me. No. Taylor Swift, Willow, song. It's the, the it, this line is life yeah. was a willow that bent me, uh, uh, that bent me to your wind or something like that. Here I thought anyway. you were uh, reciting, you know, the Gettysburg some, Address. Some uh, old uh, Steinbach or uh, I can't even name hey. another poet. <laughs> Literature is dead. Don't know. you know that? He wasn't even a poet. <laughs> anyway, you're uh, you're quoting. Taylor Swift for your deep thoughts. And yes. I'm a yes. fan. I like her. Um, you know, th it's funny. I don't think she writes her own songs, does she? Well, I think she does, but I think she also writes songs for personas that, of hers. I don't know oh, enough of her backstory, yeah, what, what but she's got clue? characters. <laughs> so this song, Every the, song, the, last, song the last line is, uh, that's my man, and she says it repeatedly, and I just it doesn't. I don't think she's singing as Taylor Swift when she's singing the song. I think it's one of her disillusioned characters that, you know. Well, isn't is that crazy all just wild. part? Uh, she's just reflecting parts of her, of who she is it and her past be. relationships. I got, but, but I'm this was dying a, to know if it's her, if it's her that writes her songs. I mean, yeah. Well, that, she's ex exceptionally talented, so I, I wouldn't. I'm not going to say I'm going to put it past her right. at all. Or that she works with songwriters and she collaborates. With them because yeah they do seem to have I mean she has a signature yeah it's all about <laughs> just sli slighted lovers and how she's gonna get back at them who writes Taylor Swift songs come on come on here or does try yeah huh you heard it here right I mean what right off the bat wasn't even like yeah. Jack and Tanoff okay. uh, who has written uh -huh. but uh, uh well does does Taylor Swift write her own song collabs uh, he's, uh, Oh, okay. Well, he's the front man for a uh, lead guitars for uh, fun. For so, fun? Is that the name of a group? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, wow. have you heard him? Is that na And they had one other song that was even bigger than that that my ex played a hundred times over and did it. Oh, oh, oh they're an older group. Okay. Are uh, they alt? Were they alt? Uh, kinda. Yeah, they were like you know. Alt became pop, became uh, top forty. But, oh yeah, uh, is that the train ride? Who, right? Who writes Taylor Swift songs? Here we go, here we go. Big the big letters. Everybody wants to know. Uh, and, uh, uh, Liz Rose is another one. Let's get Matt Martin. And she, not, and she doesn't write. Through I'm stuff. sure it's. It looks like it's co-written. Uh, you know, I plug in. Does Taylor Swift write her songs? And see what comes. Well, up. I just did. Oh, I did. I thought you said who writes, who writes Taylor Swift songs. It was what you wrote. Oh, so there's a I, I'm bit saying of a different does Taylor Swift? Yeah. Oh, so that's going more direct. Yes. Why are we doing an entire episode I, on Taylor? I Swift? don't. Know. <laughs> hey, we put Taylor Swift in our headline, and maybe we'll get people. No, no, I'm kidding. It's for average view, three seconds. <laughs> Taylor Swift writes some of her own songs, and of course, why am I even believing wherever I'm going to? Yes, why are you? Now, she wrote every song on her 2010 album, Speak Now. Oh. Uh, it's so I guess she's ago. decided to speak now. But, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not, yeah, I wouldn't doubt 
She's very multi talented She sings. Yeah. She plays guitar. She acts. I bet she's she great in bed. Dances Maybe horribly. She is. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think she's good in bed? <laughs> Some of those people can be kind of cold and distant, but I don't. I mean, uh, I don't know enough. I think she Especially might. when you're that such a megastar. Well, let's see. What's what's her sign? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we that's upcoming on the next on a t, recent on a future TMS. What do you mean? Horoscopes can, and sex. I, oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that's going to be this. Uh, are we doing that Friday or oh, Thursday? Oh, man, yeah. she's a Sag. She's, oh, that's she's what, my, December? She's my ex's... Uh, yeah? It's like Which uh, middle of November. R-A-C, R-A-M. Yeah, I just missed R-A-C's birthday last week. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, so, uh, maybe she has my ex's uh, actual birthday. Is that December? Uh, now, my ex was uh, December 13th this Taylor Swift birthday. Oh, okay. So she's pushing toward a cap. Not close enough to Christmas to be angry. That's good. Or, or to Hanukkah. I'm surprised you went to Christmas and not Hanukkah. Well, Hanukkah keeps moving around. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> well, I, well, I refer to my brother who hated the fact he was born on Christmas, even though he's Jewish. I mean, I, I thought we got more presents because his birthday was on Christmas. Now, does Hanukkah... Hanukkah is a range, kind of yeah. like Christmas is, but is, is there an actual no, day it's not a range. you well, celebrate... Well, it's Monica. on a different it's on a different calendar, so it just moves. Right. Yeah, and then that's that. I asked if if there was a day you celebrate. Not I guess days. on on whatever calendar they're following. Yes. Oh, and but it's so, not our calendar, so right, but, I couldn't tell. It's like whatever. There is the a day that it Hebrew. culminates to to where you actually gather together on. No. no. Okay, that's what I'm I just sorry. Asked okay. Said, yeah, it is. So it's not the eighth day, and everybody. It's the, well, start. I mean, on whatever calendar it's on, it and does no have day a start. is any more significance than the other like each yes, Christmas. Yes. Prayer wise, the first day you say three prayers over the can uh, the light of I know the they're candles. all different, but there's well, no, not I'm telling a you, day. I'm telling you the different. I'm telling you a day. The first day is the different day than the rest of the days. So that's when uh, but you you say more prayers. So it's more of like you know, it's like the Olympics, you know, the the grand opening ceremonies. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, but um okay. So it's a tremendous spectacle. It could be on Fired December answered. 13th at some point. It could be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's definitely in prime territory. My point is that Taylor Swift... She could, could be, be Jewish. She could be Jewish. <laughs> uh, what, what, is the, what were some of the uh, names that they would change so they didn't sound Jewish? And then they would just cut off the You can turn off whatever you want. We're I just know, talking. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they just would cut off. So her name used to be like... Uh, Twyla Swift Genovich. <laughs> Shorten it to Smith. I think it was Taylor Swiffer, but you know she got copyright infringement, <laughs> so she didn't change it. We're trying to offend a few people here, and I'm having a the Swiffer crowd. Time. Yeah, if any of you are, you know, right. hashtag Swiffer too. <laughs> all right, I think that's about covers it, don't you? Think? I think it covered about ten minutes ago. Yeah. All right. Bye.